we start that uh, okay let's just check if I record if the record okay thank you so much Ayan. Ayan. so I want to share with you the mission so our mission in IMG is 30 million financially educated families by the year 2030 so this is our financial literacy campaign and you can see down below uh, there is actually a counter okay so I will share with you as well a little bit more about this campaign um, after the end of this session and what you, you're going to be doing um, um, at, in the end no so that you will be able to help us with this financial financial literacy campaign so um, we'll go ahead with um, discussing what the, what are the things that you will be learning today so um, congratulations that you were able to spare time to attend today's webinar and so for today these are the things that you will be learning so number one is you will be learning about the challenging future ahead of you okay um, I'll be sharing as well four key financial concepts and a picture of a complete financial plan I'll also discuss a little bit about direct and indirect stock investing and level one investing if you're really very new to investing how what is the best thing to do and also lastly how IMG can help you towards achieving your financial goals okay so are you ready okay so I assume everyone's ready okay let's let's proceed now so here is a picture of our best-selling book in IMG um, so it's sabi dito sa book na to, uh, when it comes to securing and saving their future many good people fail smart people hard-working people young people old people so madami pong nagre-retire without enough savings but actually these people they don't set out to fail they do because they fail to plan and manage their personal finances okay kasi wala naman po talagang gustong mag-fail lalong lalo na sa finances natin okay so unfortunately marami ring hindi alam kung paano talaga mag-succeed with our finances because there's something missing. So, ano kaya yung missing na yun? Okay? So, they lack financial education. No? So, sabi dito, um, if you're familiar with this um, person here sa, na may picture with the book, his name is Robert Kiyosaki, and he's the author of the famous book na Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Ang sabi niya, one of the reasons the poor are poor is because they do not invest money or time into their financial education. No? So, may kulang sila. And that's financial education. So, um, for us, no, we really believe in financial education. And this webinar hopefully will bring you closer to learning a little bit more about your finances and how to be more financially literate. So, like I mentioned kanina, we're going to start off with discussing why we need to be financially literate, why we need to be financially educated. So um, let's, let's discuss the challenging future ahead. Okay, so meron tayong four major areas that Filipinos will face you know, as challenging in terms of their finances. So number one is uncertain labor market. So sabi dito, automation to replace more workers and jobs moving overseas to cut costs. So, um, in fact, you don't need to look too far, no? Because right now we are experiencing a challenging situation with the COVID, no? Um, we have areas that are still under um, enhanced community quarantine, and we have areas under uh, general community quarantine. So, depending on the number of positive cases of COVID. Um, so the government has taken precaution. So madami rin pong nawalan ng trabaho. Okay, so the if you if if you're thinking about being employed, no, and if you are actually an employee, uh, hindi ma hindi maiwasan na maiisip mo na ano kaya ano kaya mangyayari in the next weeks or so. May trabaho pa kaya ako? Di ba? So that's one of the things na um, really uh, hindi na talaga natin masasabing may security. Okay? Um, it's really very uncertain. So, that's one challenge. Okay? Isa pa lang yan. Okay? Number two is low savings and high debt. So, sabi dito, low savings have a major impact on retirement. Please 
give me a moment, huh? so, sorry. Okay, and um, so there are many people have to work beyond age 65 because they were not able to save enough you know, for their retirement. So it really has a major impact because um, hindi kasi tayo talaga actively uh, nagsisave. And then, um, may, ef may effect pa dyan yung ating mga utang kasi a lot of people if nagkaka if nahihirapan sila they think that the solution is na mangutang okay so that results to lower savings so you will see na madami tayong retired na pero essentially kailangan pa rin talagang magtrabaho no so even though and even though they are already um, 60 or senior citizen na sila meron pa rin silang ginagawa no hindi pa rin sila pwedeng um, mag humayahay ba? Ganon. No? Number three is the high cost of education. Okay, so it's not a secret. Every year, the cost of education increases. And then, unfortunately, a lot of parents, no, they are not able to really prepare for the education of their children. And oftentimes, um, sinasabi na lang nila sa mga anak nila na um, hindi natin kaya Okay, so maybe uh, sa iba na lang. If, if your children probably have dreams of going into um, universities na medyo mahal, uh, minsan sinasabi ng parents na wag na, wag na lang dyan. No? Uh, let, let's go somewhere else kasi hindi natin kaya. So I know that is painful for parents to admit. And um, I know that if you had the chance, if you're a parent, if you had the chance, you would really do something to make sure na yung dreams ng anak mo is masuportahan mo, di ba? So, the high cost of education is another challenging future that we have. And number four, this is the last, the increasing cost of living, okay? So, um, siguro napansin nyo na rin ito, no, na when, nung bata pa kayo, um, yung 1,000 ninyo, nakakabili kayo ng madaming gamit or kung mag-groceries man kayo, madaming laman yung cart ninyo pag 1,000 ng pera nyo. But now, sa 1,000 ninyo, sobrang onti na lang yung laman ng cart ninyo pag nag-groceries kayo. No? So that is actually the concept we call inflation. And um, this is really uh, there. No? Hindi naman talaga nawawala ang inflation. Um, so the value of our money really decreases over time. And madalas hindi siya nag increase siya, ano, sorry, nag decrease siya in value such that yung increase natin sa sahod, if you are an employee, hindi na siya enough to supplement yung increasing needs mo. Diba? So, madalas, um, you'll find yourself na um, really sacrificing on some things. No? So, it's not, uh, it's not because... Um, it's something new. It's always been there. No, Inflation has always been there. It's just that hindi rin natin masabi. Sometimes it's really high inflation. Sometimes it's low inflation. No, But definitely it's there. So um, the, the value of your money will always decrease over time. Okay, so these are the four challenging future that we have. And we have to be able to learn how to address, no? Um, the challenges that we have here. No? So knowing our challenges, let's see what we can do about it. No? So how can we control our future? Your future is not in the hands of your employer or your government, and it's neither in the hands of your bank nor your broker. No? So kailangan, we need to take control of our future. Our future is in our hands. Why? Kasi we are the ones who are making the money. No? So, if we make money, we have to make sure we save a portion of that. So, yung pagsisave, hindi na yan gagawin ng banko natin. Hindi na rin yan gagawin ng um, gobyerno natin for us. Diba? So, dapat tayo talaga ang nagsisave. And we need to accumulate the money. So, kung ano man ang nasave natin, kailangan matuto rin tayong magpalago. Okay, so accumulate natin yung money natin ha, para mag-grow siya. And lastly, we need to protect our money kasi pinaghihirapan natin yun. So ayaw natin mawala yung pera natin in the wrong investments. Okay, so we need to understand how we can protect our money so that we can use it better for our future. Okay, so we encourage you to become your own money manager. 
no? And attending this webinar is possibly one of the best steps you've taken to be able to become your own money manager, okay? But to become your own money manager, you need to know four key financial concepts, okay? So I'll share with you the four key financial concepts that can really help you to be successful in um, achieving your financial goals, okay? And controlling your future now. Okay, so start tayo with this one. Concept number one is the X-curve concept, no? So, mukha lang siyang X kasi kaya tinawag siyang X-curve concept. So, it consists of two lines. One green line going up, which is the money line, as you can see here. And one blue line going down, which is the responsibility line. Alright. Then, sa baba, meron pa siyang line, which we call the timeline. Okay, so lahat ng yan, papunta yan sila from the left side to the right side, if you can see it from your screen. Okay? Now, itong X-curve concept, it's really a very powerful concept because it's basically just um, the story of your life. Okay? So, at from the early stage to retirement, you know, what we want is for these two lines, the money line and the responsibility line, to really cross. Okay? So, in our life, madami tayong mga questions na what ifs. No? So, madaming mga hindi kasiguraduhan no? that we really need to um, be prepared for. No? So, what are these what ifs? No? So, what if you die too soon? No? And what if you live too long? Diba? Kasi, hindi, nata, hindi naman talaga natin alam kung kailan tayo kukunin ni Lord. And if we die too soon, no? We, there, madaming my, my problems, di ba? Sino mag, mag problema? Most likely, it will be your family if you die too soon. It, lalo na, lalong lalo na if you are the breadwinner, di ba? And if you live too long, it's another set of problems naman. So, syempre, if you live too long, most likely, ang mag problema dyan is ikaw. Kasi andyan ka pa, di ba? So, what are the solutions? So, if you die too soon, the solution is life insurance, okay? So, itong insurance pala, hindi na to para sa iyo. It's actually for the family you will leave behind. Lalong lalo na like I said, if you are the breadwinner, no? Kasi gusto natin na yung family natin hindi magiging financially devastated pag nawala tayo, no? Now, what if you live too long naman? Ano naman ang sagot? So, syempre, we have investments. Okay? So, because hindi natin alam if we die too soon ba or if we live too long, we need to prepare for both. Diba? So, kailangan maigi na yung prepared tayo for both possible scenarios. Okay? Now, ngayon, um, aside from dying too soon and living too long, meron ding madami pang what ifs. No? What if nagkaroon ng emergency? Like, now, no? This situation that we are facing with COVID, madaming nawala ng trabaho, that's an emergency, di ba? Kasi hindi natin akalain na mawawalan tayo ng trabaho. Hindi natin akalain na magla-lockdown sa Pilipinas, di ba? So, uh, this is really something unforeseen kasi hindi rin naman natin alam, you know, that the virus could really spread so fast to so many countries. No, akala natin dahil mainit dito sa Pilipinas, hindi na pasok ang coronavirus but then now we even have more cases than um, other countries around us no so we need to be prepared also with emergency funds okay so ang emergency funds is supposed to address all those mga um, um, mga bagyo sa buhay na hindi natin inaasahan okay so that is your emergency funds yan ang sagot ng mga what ifs na yun na hindi natin masasabi kung ano man siya. Okay? And then, lastly is what if magkasakit ka? No? So, like like sa emergency, yung, yung magkakasakit ka, hindi mo alam kung kailan yan siya may, mangyayari. No? So, yung important na meron tayong healthcare kasi posibleng magkasakit ka dito sa early stage, posibleng sa gitna, posibleng dito sa huli, so hindi natin alam. So we have to have healthcare the whole time, okay? To protect us naman. Kasi tayo din, we also need to protect ourselves, di ba? Not just our family, but also ourselves. So it's really important to also have healthcare, okay? So 
as you can see, ito yung parang kwento ng buhay natin. No? So, lahat ng mga what-ifs na pwedeng mangyari, dapat prepared tayo for that. Okay? Also, this X-curve concept talks about um, active income and passive income. So, from the word itself, itong active income, it talks about income that you earn, okay, money from working. No? So, kaya siya tinawag na active kasi nagtatrabaho ka para sa pera. Okay? No work, no pay. No? So, that is what we call active income. Okay? So, habang nagtatrabaho ka no, and you have income from your salary probably or whatever it is that you do to earn money, you have to start saving and investing. No? Para itong green line mo, which is the money line, unti-unti mo siyang mapapataas. And unti-unti mo rin um, matatransform yung active income to passive income. No? So, as the word itself implies, ang passive income is income na hindi mo na kailangan pagtrabahoan. So, that means less work na or no work needed, may money na pumapasok sa'yo. Okay? So, may pera na pumapasok sa'yo. That's what you call passive income. So, ang gusto natin, from the time na nagtatrabaho tayo actively, matransform natin yung active income to passive income kasi hindi naman pwedeng buong buhay tayo magtatrabaho. Gusto rin natin magpahinga, di ba? So, syempre, by the time na magre-retire na tayo, we should be ready with our passive income. But what are our sources of passive income? Okay? So, kaya, importante meron tayong mga investments talaga. Okay? So, that's the first concept, no? Um, the X-curve concept. And I hope you understand that clearly because it's a really, really powerful concept. And once you understand it, you'll be better able to make um, financial decisions. Okay? So, number two. Number two concept is the rule of 72 or the rule of money. It's basically how money works. Um, or it's what we call compounding interest. Okay? So, um, ilalabas ko na lahat. No? So, you can see um, all of these numbers. But please don't be distracted yet by the numbers here. Kasi I will discuss it one by one. Okay? Let's start with dito sa 4%. Okay? So, um, ang rule of 72 kasi sabi niya na if you divide... 72 by the annual interest rate by the average annual interest rate you will get the number of years your money will double okay so let's try it we have three examples here one at four percent so ibig sabihin four percent interest na binigay one at eight percent and another one at twelve percent using the rule of 72 no? So, the formula is here, 72 divided by the interest rate. In this case, it's 4. That's equal to 18. So, your money will double every 18 years. Okay? Dito naman sa 8%, we use again the rule of 72. 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. Money doubles every 9 years. And last is the 12%. So, the same we do the same formula and it gives us number 6. So, money doubles every 6 years at 12%. So, gano ba ka different no? if you put your money in these different interest rates? So, tingnan natin kung gano kalaki ang difference. So, an example is given here sa 4%, 8%, and 12%. For somebody investing at the age of 20, an amount of 100,000, um, and three people sila. No? So, kunwari, ito si Juan, si Pedro, at si Sasha. So, here, sa 4%, makikita nyo ang kanyang um, oh, wait a moment. I think nakamute ako. Okay. I can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. All right. So, um so itong three examples natin, no? Si Juan, si Pedro, at si Sa si Sasha. Tingnan natin kung how much their money grew depending on kung saan nila nilagay yung pera nila. 
Okay? So, you can see na si Juan, every 18 years lang nagdo-double yung pera niya. So, 20 plus 18, 38 years old siya, nag-double ang pera niya, 200,000. 38 plus 18, naging 56 years old siya, nag-double ulit ang pera niya. So, from 200,000, naging 400,000. No? But then, si, si Pedro, nung nilagay niya sa 8%, makikita mo, every 9 years nagdo-double. So, mas madaming beses nagdo-double yung pera niya. So, at the same age na 56, meron siyang 1.6 million. No? So, you can see ang laki ng difference. So, 4 times yung difference from Juan and Pedro. But look at Sasha na nasa 12% niya nilagay. So, you can see na every 6 years, dumodobol ang pera niya. No? Dumoble ng 6, dumoble until naging 6.4 million. No? Nung 56 years old siya, she had 6.4 million. No? So, you can see it's even 16 times more than the 4% na nilagyan ni Juan. Diba? So, it pays, it pays, it pays talaga to know kung saan mo nilagay ang pera mo. So please, no, when you when you hear of this concept, try to assess saan ba talaga nakalagay ang savings ko? Saan ba talaga nakalagay ang pera ko? So if you have if you're in the habit of saving but you're saving your money in the bank, no? Um sa tingin mo, do you think if you put your money in the bank, your money will grow? until 6.4 million. Mahirap, di ba? So, most likely, hindi yan mangyayari. Okay? If you put your money sa piggy bank or sa alkansya, no? Sa tingin nyo, mag-grow kaya ang pera nyo? Most likely, hindi rin. Di ba? So, you need to know where you put your money. Okay? Alright. So, keep in mind this rule, um, concept number two, the rule of 72 or how money works, okay? So, I hope rule of 72 is clear, okay? And later on, we will see the application of the rule of 72. Alright, so now moving on to the third concept, which is the solid financial foundation. So, itong solid financial foundation, this is another concept regarding how we are supposed to, um, you know, um, allocate yung savings natin. So, saan ba talaga natin ilalagay? No? Ano yung mga pag-aallocate pag, pag natin ng ating savings? No? So, the concept is very similar to building a house. So, if you're going to be building a house, syempre, magsisimula ka sa baba. Di ba? Wala naman sigurong bahay na magsisimula sa tuktok. So, we build our house from the ground up. Para, kasi gusto natin na yung bahay natin solido. No, it's very firm. No, it's very sturdy. So we want to build our house from the ground up. In the same way, if you are building your financial house, you will want a solid financial foundation. You need to build from the ground up. Okay? So ano ba, how does it look like if it's your solid financial foundation? Okay? So we have these five levels you can see here. No? So like I said, we need to build from the ground up. So, dito sa baba, we have healthcare. Okay? Kasi healthcare is really important. No? Bakit? Dahil yan ay protection para sa'yo. So, if it's your house, no? if it's your financial house, you need to make sure ikaw mismo protected ka. So, you have to have both short-term and long-term care. And I will talk about short-term and long-term care a little bit more in a few minutes. Okay? And then on the second level, we have protection or life insurance. So, ang protection and life insurance, anong pinoprotektahan naman nito? So, since tayo dito, pinoprotektahan tayo sa healthcare, on the second level, syempre the ones who are most important to us, which is our family. So, the second level should be life insurance, protection for your family. Okay? So, that is proper protection. Now, on the third level, nakalagay dito, eliminate debts. Okay? Kasi if you learned kanina the other concepts, no, na sinasabing rule of 72, no, how money grows, it can also work for debts. So, sa utang, lumulobo din sila. Kasi may interest rate din yun, di ba? So, dumodoble din sila. Unfortunately, dumodoble sila at a faster rate than your savings. 
no? Kasi magkanong interest rate na binibigay ng mga utang, lalo lalo na po mga credit cards, no? So you have to eliminate your debts, okay? Then on the fourth level, you'll see emergency funds. Okay, so we also talked about emergency funds kanina. And emergency funds is really something that you have set aside for any other um, no, emergencies or mga unexpected na mga um, happening sa buhay mo na mga ngailangan din talaga ng um, funds. Okay, so... Ang emergency funds natin ideally should be 3 to 6 months of your income, no? Or 3 to 6 months of your expenses so that you have that peace of mind. So sabi nga ng iba, yung emergency funds, you can it's your SWAN fund. SWAN, S W A N, and that stands for sleep well at night, okay? So emergency funds, you can even call it SWAN fund. Okay, so you have to have that and build that slowly. So hindi po instant no na magkakaroon tayo ng emergency fund. 3 to 6 months agad ng ating income. So you have to build that slowly. So habang walang emergency, unti-unti mo na yung siyang tinatabi. Okay, until na ma-achieve mo yung 3 to 6 months of your emergency fund. And last level here, we have the investments. So yung investments, yun yung last level level or level 5 and yung investments do na tayo maglalagay ng money that we want to grow itong investments should be for our financial goals okay para lahat ng ating mga financial goals may sagot no meron tayong allocation para sa financial goals natin or else they will remain as dreams no hindi natin sila ma-achieve okay so please build your solid financial foundation from the ground up all right, so this is the third concept, and I hope you also learn about, um, you, you get, you learn something from this concept, no? Ang sabi dito rin, and I'd like, I'd like to share this with you, no? Kasi uh, when I was new to IMG, I did not understand the Solid Financial Foundation. Ang gusto ko lang talaga was investment, no? But as you can see from the Solid Financial Foundation picture that we had, ang investments is Huli na siya, di ba? So, it's like the icing on your cake already. So, kailangan gawin mo muna yung cake mo. And sabi dito ni Rex Mendoza, who is one of our mentors in IMG, sabi niya, you don't have the right to invest unless you are properly protected. So, tama, di ba? Kailangan protektahan muna natin yung sarili natin, protektahan muna natin yung mga mahal natin sa buhay or our family before we even start investing. Okay, because like all investments, meron talagang kaakibat na risk ang lahat ng investments. So, if we are not protected, no, most of the time, ang investments natin magsasuffer. And tayo rin magsasuffer. Okay? So, always protect yourself first before you invest. And number four concept. The number four concept, this is the last one. Um, it's called the pay yourself first concept. Okay, so itong pay yourself first concept, um, this is actually your um, spending habits. No? It actually talks about your spending habits. So, kasi most of us, no, when we earn our income, no, most of the time, itong income natin, agad-agad binabawas natin yung ating mga utility bills, yung mga expenses natin, yung mga shopping, ganon. So, nabawas agad, Okay. Tapos sinasabi natin na pag may natira dito, iipunin ko to. No? So parating pag may income, gastos muna, expenses, at saka yung lifestyle. Tapos sasabihin, kung may natira dito, savings ko na. No? But unfortunately, madalas walang savings. Walang natitira kasi inuna yung gastos. Diba? So ang ending, wala tuloy na ipon. Wala tuloy na invest. Okay? Minsan, ganito rin. So, ang income, no? Sumobra naman yung expenses and lifestyle. Okay? So, nagiging 125%. Ang ending naman yan is negative 25% pa yung savings and investments. Naging utang pa siya. No? Imbis na savings and investments, naging utang pa siya. Alright? So, this is not ideal. So, definitely, this is not the way we want to pay ourselves first. Okay? So, ano pala yung tama? 
Okay? So, ito yung mga wrong formula. What is the right formula? So, when we say pay yourself first, we are talking about the abundance formula or the 10-20-70 rule. Okay? So, let's see how different is it from the first two that we saw. So, first is kung tatanggap mo yung income mo, mag-allocate tayo agad for our tithes and our savings and investments. Okay? So, bago pa tayo gumastos, no? Um, bago tayo kumuha from our income, dapat na-set aside na natin yung tithes and savings and investments. Na-safe na safe zone mo na. Okay? Tapos, kung ano man ang natitira, alright? Kung ano man natira, yun na yung ibabudget natin for our expenses and our lifestyle. Alright? So, in this way, parating meron tayong savings and investment. Hindi siya nakuhuli. Okay? That's why we say, pay yourself first. So, yung, yung sinasabi natin na yourself dito, this is actually your future self. Okay? And this is not you rewarding yourself for the hard work that you did. But this is you saving for your future self. Your future self who may not be able to work anymore, who may want to um, pursue other things so that you have, you know, you know, you can fulfill your, your life also. So, ito siya. So, 100% of your income and ideally 10% for tithes, okay? And then savings and investments na 20%. And whatever is left na 70%, that is for your expenses and your lifestyle. Okay? So, we have to live within the, the boundaries of our income. Alright? So, how do you practice paying yourself first? So, baka sabihin niyo, ma'am, ang hirap naman. Ang hirap naman yan. 10%, 20%, ang taas-taas. 70% lang natitira sa expenses ko. Okay? So, how can you do that? So, first, here's a tip. You classify your wants and your needs. Ask yourself, no, each time you buy something, is there really a purpose? Bakit ko ito binibili? Or pang forma lang? Diba? So, ask yourself talaga, purpose o forma? No? So, for example, itong mga to, di ba? So, mga bag, mga watches, mga phone, ganyan, and mga shopping. No? So, kung kailangan mo ng bag, then buy a bag, but hindi naman siguro kailangan itong bag na to talaga. Diba? So, kung kailangan mo ng watch, hindi naman siguro kailangan na Rolex talaga, na branded talaga. Okay? So, try to understand what it is that you really need. Okay? Classify mo yung wants and yung needs mo. Another tip is, you have to ask yourself, you know, each time you buy something, are you buying an asset or a liability? Okay? So, dito, in this caricature, you'll see na yung mga mayayaman, no, they usually buy assets. No? They buy things that puts money in their pocket. No? Kasi yung money nila, gusto nila magtrabaho. So gusto nila, binibili nila is assets. Okay? Unfortunately, merong iba, iniisip nila na mga um, things that they buy, akala nila asset, eh, yun pala ay liability. So you need to be able to determine kung ano ba talaga yung binibili mo. Asset ba yan or liability? And the easiest way to check is to see. No? Assets bring money in. Liabilities take money out of your pocket. So when you buy something like a house, ask yourself, itong bahay na to, is this, is this house gonna bring money in my pocket? No, itong sasakyan na to, is this, is this car gonna bring money in my pocket? or babayaran ko lang to na walang return sa akin. Okay? So, ask yourself, no? Asset or liability? And another tip that I have is the kurot dakot principle. Okay? So, ang sinasabi lang dito ng kurot dakot principle is, of course, because you're working so hard for the money, ayaw din natin na maging um, unhappy kayo. No? Ayaw naman natin na na hindi natuloy kayo masaya dahil parati na lang kayong nagiging kuripot, no? hindi na kayo gumagastos ng anything for your pleasure. So, ang ibig lang sabihin nito is pwede pa rin mag-enjoy. No? Hindi naman imposible na, dapat na hindi na talaga mag-enjoy kasi nag-iipon ka. So, ang ibig lang sabihin nito is if you want to spend on luxury things or luxury items or yung mga luxuries mo, it's okay 
but you have to make sure na kinukurot mo lang siya from your savings at hindi mo siya dinadakot. Okay? So, kurot, that means maliit lang, di ba? Maliit lang kukunin mo from your savings. Hindi mo dadakupin. Okay? Dadakutin pala. Ganon. So, kurot takot principle, it really works. Okay? So, hope that's a tip you will remember. Alright. So, after learning about the four key financial concepts, no? So, how do we put these things together? Now, how does it work for us as a person? And paano natin siya um, i- i-consolidate. So, in summary, ito yung complete financial plan. Okay? So, kailangan, di ba, sagutin natin yung mga what-ifs in life. Like, what if we die too soon? So, ang solution is life insurance. And then, what if we live too long? The solution would be investment and long-term care. So, here is the complete financial plan. It should be that we have health care, like I said, both short-term and long-term health care, which is also the base of our financial, solid financial foundation, you know, the base of our financial house. We should have life insurance, the second level of our solid financial foundation, which is to protect our family. And then we have to have emergency funds for all the other bagyo na pwedeng mangyari sa buhay natin. And then whatever money we save, we need to let it grow for our financial goals. So we need to have investments. So ito yung complete financial plan. Okay? So we need to be able to have all of this no, in our financial strategy. So let's discuss and break down yung mga solutions, starting off with life insurance. Now, ang solution, ng life, ang solution kasi ng life insurance is the what if you die too soon. Okay, so ang sinasagot, bali, ng life insurance is the question, what if you die too soon? So, let's see how life insurance works. So, madaming tao na ayaw kumuha ng life insurance. And I can tell you because isa ko doon, ayaw ko talagang kumuha ng life insurance. Kasi hindi ko siya naintindihan. So, um, when I joined IMG, I was able to learn why I need life insurance and why my family needs life insurance. So, ito lang pala yung concept. Bakit kailangan natin siya? So, ikaw na nagtatrabaho ka, syempre you want your family to be comfortable and you want you want them to be able to enjoy a happy, luxurious life. no? At least a comfortable one if not a luxurious one. So, you keep working hard, no earning the money for your family. But unfortunately, what if mawala ka? No? What will happen to your family? So, possible na babagsak ang kanilang lifestyle. And if wala kang life insurance, your family will really go all the way down to the bottom. So, syempre, ayaw natin yan. So, that is the purpose of life insurance. Yan yung sasalo ng family natin in case mawala tayo sa mundo. Okay? So, that's really the purpose of life insurance. Now, there are three rules of life insurance and I share with them here with you. Um, the first is, there is no free life insurance. So, lahat po ng life insurance may cost. Okay? So, there's always a cost to life insurance. In terms of the cost naman, this is now the second rule, the cost of insurance always increases with age. No? So, habang tumatanda tayo, mas lumalaki yung cost ng insurance. Mas lumalaki ang premium na babayaran natin. Okay? So, it's better to really start getting when you're young. Now, Number three, all insurance are term insurance which can which can be bundled with a certain cash value. Okay? So, um, madami kasing life insurance out there that are already bundled with investments. Okay? But basically, yung insurance dyan, that's still term insurance. And talagang ang cost ng insurance na yan, tumataas pa rin yan habang, habang tumatanda tayo, even though your premium remains the same because a portion of that premium will go to your cash value. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, we also have um, um, workshops in IMG to really, you know, break down life insurance for you so that you really understand it very well. Okay? So, about life insurance, Madami nagtatanong, how much protection do you need? Kasi madalas, uh, we get life insurance without understanding how much protection we need. And oftentimes, um, 
pagka nakabili na tayo ng life insurance, sasabihin na natin na enough na, di ba? Isang life insurance, okay na. Hindi ko na kailangan. Meron na akong ganito, mm, okay, meron na, meron na akong um, life insurance na nabili. But, um, yung, yung computation for how much insurance you really need should be like this. So, if you have, if you're earning a monthly income of um, 20,000, you need to multiply that by 12 because we have 12 months in a year and we need to multiply that by 10. So, that is actually your annual income times 10. So, dito, 20,000 times 12 equals 240 times 10. So, that becomes 2.4 million. So, ito yung appropriate more or less, no, na life insurance na kailangan mo to replace the 20,000 income. Bakit siya tinawag na income replacement minsan? Kasi, if something happens to you and you are insured, properly insured, your family will get 2.4 million, which is 10 times your annual income. Okay? If your family is financially educated din, they can opt, no, option nila to invest the 2.4 million or your pro the proceeds from your life insurance in a financial instrument that will give them 10% interest. So, ang 2.4 million na may 10% interest per year, lalabas na 240,000. So, in, kahit na wala ka to earn the 20,000 every month, your family will still be receiving that amount. Kasi 240,000 divided by 12 will give you 20,000 per month. And that will replace the income. Of course, hindi ka na marireplace kung nawala ka na. Siyempre, hindi ka naman na talaga mapapalitan. But at least, no? At least your family doesn't need to be financially devastated because yung income na kinikita mo to help support their needs is still there. Okay? So, this is just a simple computation of how much protection you need. But if you want a more comprehensive one, no, there's also another method we call the DIME method. But again, I will not be explaining it here. No, if you want to learn more about the DIME method, you can check with the person who invited you to the webinar. Okay? Ayan. So, next natin, um, another financial instrument we want to learn more about is investment. So, if you remember, yung investment is the solution to what if you live too long. So, how money works, di ba? Maalala niyo pa yung rule of 72, no? How your money grows through compounding interest. Alright? So, we need to understand this so that we can prepare for our future retirement. Ayan. So, how does it work ba? I'll just give you an example, no? Um, an illustration pala para mas makita nyo kung paano ba talaga lumago ang pera. So, for example, you're somebody who can say na kaya mo mag-ipon ng 1,000 per month. Yung 1,000 per month, maliit na lang naman yun, di ba? So, I think most of us, no? Even those who are not really, um, uh, yung hindi talaga uh, employed in big companies, no? I think 1,000 savings is kaya, di ba? So, if consistent kang nag ng 1,000 pesos na savings and nilagay mo siya in these, no? Naglagay ka, for example, in one of these um, financial instruments na nagbibigay ng interest na 4%, 8%, 10%, 12%, no? You choose. So, you will see, syempre, mas malaki talaga yung growth pag dito mo nilagay sa 12%. But what I want to show you here is that if you're consistent, no, every month naglalagay ka and you keep adding, it, there will come a time na talagang malaki na siya. Sa 1,000 monthly, kaya palang abutin ng 1 million. Sa 1,000 monthly, kaya palang abutin ang 2 million. Sa 1,000 monthly, kaya palang abutin ang 3.5 million. Diba? Isn't that amazing? No? So what if kaya mong mag-ipo ng 2,000 a month. Yung 2,000 mo monthly, kaya palang marating ang 7 million. ba? But what if you can save more? 5,000 a month. No? If you can save 5,000 a month, wow! Multi-millionaire ka na pala. No? The key is, consistent kang nag-iipon, maaga kang nagsimula. Kasi kailangan ng panahon para 
lumago ang pera natin. No? Kailangan ng panahon para yung pera natin magtrabaho for us. Okay? So, that is how compounding interest can work for us. The key is consistent long-term investing. Okay? Again, I repeat, consistent long-term investing. That means, monthly talaga, no, nag-iipon tayo consistently and we, ha we give our money time to grow. Okay? So, what, how can we invest? Okay, saan ba natin i-invest na maka, we can earn 4%, 8%, 10%, 12%? Okay, so let me share with you direct and indirect investing. Okay, so itong direct and indirect investing, this is actually investment in the stock market. Okay, so when we say direct stock investing, um, it's like driving a car. No? Ang difference lang sa kanila is like driving a car. Kung ikaw marunong kang mag-invest sa stock market, magaling ka, mag-analyze, blah, 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 uh, maybe you can, maybe you will like to do direct stock investing. Okay? So, when you're driving a car, for example, kung hindi ka marunong mag-drive, malamang sa malamang, it's either sasakay ka na lang, okay, or mag-hire ka ng driver. Okay? So, kung magaling ka naman mag-drive, then ikaw ang magdo-drive. Diba? So, the same way with direct and indirect. So, kung direct stock investing, ikaw ang driver dyan. But dito sa indirect stock investing, it's either nag-hire ka ng driver okay, or sumakay ka na lang. No? So, let's, let's see the difference further. No? Sa direct investing, ano yung mga ginagawa? So, yung, pag nag invest ka kasi directly, you become a shareholder of big companies. No? So, you buy stocks of these companies na baka gusto mo maging ka-partner. Okay? These are big companies. No? Uh, most probably, yung iba dyan, um, talagang loyal ka sa kanila. Okay? Um, so, if you want to invest directly in these companies, ikaw mismo ang pipili. No? Anong company ang gusto mong pag-investan? And, ikaw rin magsasabi kung kailan ka bibili ng stocks nila, kailan ka, kailan ka magbibenta. Okay? So, ikaw magdi-decide. No? It's really up to you. Pero, mahihirapan ka kung hindi ka marunong mag-decide. No? Anong company ang bibilhin ko? Anong magandang company ang bilhin? No? Or, hindi ka marunong kung kailan ka bibili. Hindi, ka, hindi mo rin alam kung kailan ka magbibenta. So, mahirap, di ba? Nasa sayo yung burden of decision. So, if ayaw mo ng ganon, then you can do indirect stock investing, which is investing in mutual funds. So, what is a mutual fund? A mutual fund is an investment company that pulls money together from different investors and invests it in a diversified portfolio of financial instruments in accordance to its objectives. These funds are actively managed by full-time professional fund managers whose job is to seize market opportunities within well-managed risk parameters. So that's a mouthful. No? And maybe you didn't understand that. So let's try to break it down and put pictures to it. All right? So how does it work? Mutual funds. Okay. So kunwari investor ka. Gusto mo mag-invest sa mutual fund. Okay? Oops, sorry. So kung investor ka, gusto mo mag-invest sa mutual fund, maglalagay ka ng pera sa mutual fund. No, pero madami kasi tayong nag invest sa mutual fund na yan. So, lahat ng pera na nilagay natin dyan sa lahat iba't ibang investor, they're going to pull it together. No? Pagsasama-samahin yan nila. And then, yung fund manager na naka-assign or yung driver na pinag-uusapan natin kanina, siya yung pipili kung anong kumpanya ang pag investan and how much of the money na na-pull ang i-invest niya. So, siya ang magdi-decide. Nasa kanya ang burden of decision sa fund manager. So, siya mag invest no sa mga companies na yan. And if kumita yung investments and if kumita yung mga companies na pinag-investan niya, yun yung mag-generate ng kita or returns. At ng, yung kita na yan, ibabalik rin sa investor, which is ikaw. Okay? So, that is how mutual funds work. So, ang ang problema mo lang talaga is for you to really keep putting, no? Put and put and invest and invest on your mutual fund. Hindi mo na problema kung kailan ka bibili or ano yung bibilhin mo, no? Hindi mo na problemahin yan. Anong kumpanya ang pipiliin mo, wala, no? Si fund manager na ang bahala dyan. So, di ba? No? 
So, hindi, hindi na burden sa'yo yung pag-iisip na yun. Okay? So, for me, para sa akin, mas okay sa akin yun. Kasi, hindi ko na kailangan isipin yun. Kasi, gusto ko maging busy in, with something else. no Sa work ko or sa family ko. no I don't want to be busy thinking kung anong company ang bibilhin ko. Alright? So, sa indirect stock investing, this is just an example no na if you're investing in, for example, this fill equity, you can see na hindi lang sa isang company siya naka-invest. That's another thing. Kung sa mutual funds, hindi lang isang company ang mabibili mo. Okay? Sa 1,000 mo, pwede ka nang bumili ng madaming kumpanya. Shares from different companies, big companies. Okay? So, yan ang maganda rin sa mutual funds or indirect stock investing. So, ano ba talaga ang iba pang benefits of investing in mutual funds? Okay, so first, it offers diversification. So, nakita nyo kanina in the previous slide na madaming companies ang nakalagay sa isang mutual fund. No? Sa Phil Equity Mutual Fund, meron na palang SM doon, meron na palang Ayala doon. Okay, so madaming companies na nandun. So, it's very diversified. And number two, it is professionally managed. So, if maalala mo si fund manager or yung driver na siyang nag decide kung ano yung bibilhin, kailan, okay, how much. So, siya, trained talaga yan siya at yan talaga ang trabaho niya. Okay? So, he's really trained to do that. He knows what he's doing. So, siya ang nagmamanage ng mutual fund. It's very liquid, no? Kasi anytime you can also pull out your investment if you really need it. But again, if you're focused on your financial goals, hindi mo yan siya pull out until na ma-achieve mo siya. Okay? Number four, it comes in many varieties. So, if you want to know about the many varieties ng mutual fund, no, I'm not going to discuss it here, but please reach out to the person who invited you para he can guide you, you know, more on what are the different options for you. Number five, it has a low minimum investment requirement. Okay, so um, itong mutual funds kasi for as low as 1,000 pesos, you can already start your investment account. So, like I said kanina, yung 1,000, pwedeng-pwede na talagang ipunin ng kahit sinong nananarbaho. Okay? It's very transparent because it also has um, uh, what we call a fund fact sheet or um, information kung saan nakalagay, saan naka-invest ang pera mo. Anong mga companies ang pinag-investan. Okay? So, they are mandated, the mutual funds are mandated to provide the, these fun fact sheets to their shareholders and to provide it to the public. Okay, so you can even search it sa Google, no? your best friend Google. And then it has strong track records. So, ibig sabihin lang po niyan, dahil napaka-diversified niya, no? um, the risk of it going bankrupt is zero. No? So, wala pa po talagang na bankrupt na mutual fund. Then, it is safe and secured. No, kasi, of course, it is regulated also by uh, regulatory agencies natin dito sa Pilipinas. And the gains are tax-exempt. No? So, saan ka pa tax-exempt ang gains ng mutual funds? No? That's another benefit of investing in mutual funds. Now, I'm sharing with you also here, no, sa IMG, you don't have to look far. If you want to invest in mutual funds, we have so many mutual fund partners brought to us by Rampver Financials. So here you have Soldivo, Phil um, Asset Management, Phil Equity, Atram Sun Life, and even FAMI, which is not here in the picture. But yun lahat sila, they really believe and support our financial education um, campaign here in International Marketing Group and that's why they partner with us. No? So, it's really good to be a part of that community kasi may inspire ka talagang mag-invest. Okay? Ayon. So, I'd also like to share a little bit about long-term care. Okay? So, kung maalala nyo rin po kanina, no? this is also the solution to what if you live too long. Diba? Investments and long-term care, yung solution sa what if you live too long. So, how does long-term healthcare work? Okay, bilisan ko na siguro a little bit. Um, so, long-term healthcare work, works like this. No? So, in comparison to short-term healthcare, in which is, which is actually just a benefit 
um, na binibigay ng inyong employer sa inyo as an employee. So, if you're working for a company who provides you with short-term health care or yung health card ninyo, then you're very lucky because that means that binavalue kayo ng employer ninyo and binigyan talaga kayo ng health care. No? But unfortunately rin, no? or fortunately, no? <laughs> hindi natin alam kung fortunately ba or unfortunately, hindi nyo naman talaga siya madalas nagagamit kasi you are very healthy when you are in your productive years, when you're working, di ba? You have a health card, it gives you peace of mind, but most of the time, hindi mo siya nagagamit. Minsan, ayaw nyo pa nga magpa-consult or magpa-annual physical exam kasi busy kayo, di ba? Kasi gusto nyo nagtatrabaho kayo. And that's what happens most of the time, no? Hindi nagagamit yung inyong short-term health care as an employee. Okay? But after you retire, no? Siyempre, wala na rin yung benefit na yan kasi that's only given to you by your employer for as long as nagtatrabaho ka sa kanila. Once na hindi ka na nagtatrabaho dyan, it could be when you're 60 or when you stop working with them, no? it could be earlier than 60, wala na rin yung benefit na yon. So, the difference is, the difference between short-term healthcare and long-term healthcare is this. Itong long-term healthcare, it's something that you have to get for yourself. Okay? And you're getting it for yourself to prepare for healthcare for your retirement years, which is 61 and beyond. Okay? So, at least covered ka pa rin. No? Kasi most of the time, dito kasi tayo nagkakasakit. Once we stop working, doon na, lumabas na, mga sakit-sakit. Okay? That's, and that's normal because that's when our health starts to fail. So, we need to be prepared for that, no? So that's really the main difference between long-term and short-term care. All right. So let me share with you um, one of our favorite partners uh, here in IMG, which is Kaiser Long-Term Care. Um, and this is an example of a long-term care program, healthcare savings program, kung saan you'll be saving up for it no, during your productive years. No, You'll only be saving for it for a limited period of time, which is seven years. And then thereafter, no, you are already covered with healthcare. Okay, so there are different benefits that you can get from this um, Kaiser Health Builder program that we have, and um, it also sums up as a three-in-one investment. Okay, it's what we call the level one investing. So if you haven't started investing yet, or wala pa kayong protection or anything like that, wala pa kayong nasimulan. Um, sa financial foundation ninyo, we really recommend Kaiser because it's it's really very basic and it addresses already your three major financial needs. Yung mga what ifs natin. No? What if we live too long? Ano yung sagot? Investments and long-term care. And what if we die too soon? Then we have the life insurance. So itong level one investing ng Kaiser, it really addresses these three major financial needs kung saan very important sa ating solid financial foundation kasi ito yung base no healthcare and protection sa family ito yung ating base talaga okay so this is what we call level 1 investing and if you want to learn more about this program please reach out to the person who invited you okay ayon so um, basically po yun na talaga yung aking presentation for today but please allow me a few more slides to share with you about our community. So IMG is really a community um, and it is based on a membership platform. Okay, So when you join IMG, you become a member and you get to avail a lot, all of our um, benefits. Okay, So in IMG, it's a new world of possibilities um, where we teach people about the financial industry and help them to become their own financial educator as they build their solid financial foundation. So we really walk you through building your own solid financial foundation na kaya mo na talaga siyang gawin on your own, okay, without the need for a financial advisor. No? So wala na talagang ganun. Ikaw mismo magde-decide kasi ikaw naman nakakaalam ng financial situation mo. No? More than any financial advisor will know. Ikaw talaga. All right? So... It's a new world of possibilities because you can get educated on all aspects of personal finance, access hundreds of financial products and services, my training tayo and support how to manage your money and our trainings here are really great no? it's, and it's really consistent. 
um, and uh, really accommodates the time na available kayo. And you just really need also to really, um, uh, you know, um, commit to yourself na talagang mag-aaral ka. Okay? And then, um, you get to save money on various products and services and you earn commissions. No, You have a potential to earn additional income stream. No, If, if in case kulang talaga yung income mo, this is an opportunity for you to earn commissions by helping others also become financially educated. So, here in IMG, you can learn and earn in the financial industry. Okay, so it's really a wonderful system that we have. And I want to share with you also their membership benefits, okay? So if you are a member of IMG, you get all of these benefits na ang pinaka number one ko talaga na nagustuhan is yung mga free financial seminars, workshops, no? And the trainings that we get that are really amazing, no? And minsan nga, hindi lang puro finance ang training namin. Minsan iba-iba pa, no? You'll be surprised. And that's what I really love. Okay, kasi ako, mahilig talaga ako matuto ng iba't ibang bagay. And learning kasi helps us also to grow ourselves. No? So that's number one, na naka okay na benefit ng IMG. And um, hindi ko na idi discuss po lahat, but I also want to share, just highlight maybe a few of these na favorite ko, um, like the free gifts that we have here. No? So we actually have straight away, if you're a member, you are covered with personal accident insurance and depends on um, your. Um, your status in the organization, you, you get from 100,000 to 300,000. And then you also have um, this free unlimited consultation sa Kaiser Medical Centers natin. So like I said, Kaiser is one of our favorite partners here in IMG. Na kung saan they really support our financial literacy campaign. And our members get to have free unlimited consultations in their Kaiser Medical Centers. No? And we already have a lot of medical centers open for us so ask your friend again the one who invited you okay and then of course yung favorite natin na long-term care that's also that also comes from kaiser and we also have um access sa iba't ibang partners natin no? like manila bankers for the life insurance and also we have this free investment seminars um, mutual funds at zero percent entry fee Okay, so itong entry fee na to, um, this is the benefit exclusive for us na IMG members. That means na whatever investments you put in your mutual funds, wala na pong kaltas na fees yan. Buong-buo siyang nai-invest. And um, as soon as you become a member, you sign up to be a member, you already have 1,000 pesos worth of shares in our Soldivo mutual fund. Okay? So that's another benefit na sobrang gustong gusto ko. And we also have um, access to um, online um, direct stock investing and a digital marketing tool. Okay, that's also really amazing. Uh, we also have um, members discount from real estate companies, um, non-life insurances, and we also have here special courses with other coaches no uh, who can teach us how to um, earn additional income no if you want to do online marketing if you want to write a book maybe an ebook and sell that online if there's some something you really want to tell the world you write a book and so you also earn from that no and we can get we can make that happen for you also here in IMG and then we also have no so and dami talaga naming um, benefits na ngayon and um, um, one, the best benefit is still being in the financial industry, which is the reward. Because basically, um, you have the opportunity to own your own business. Okay? And you have the opportunity to help other families also become financially educated, own their time, you know, achieve the income that they want. You have the opportunity to travel the world get recognized and you get to have the free health care also of course there are some things you still need to do um, no because um, the membership is just the first step no but there's still some things that you need to do for you to really um, achieve your financial goals mo. okay the system is there the platform is there it's already been provided for but there's still work that we need to do okay so this is the uh, total financial solution that 
IMG offers us. No? Kasi eh, kung mapapansin nyo, balikan natin yung ating solid financial foundation. This is our financial house. And then, um, lahat ng ito gusto natin gawin, di ba? But in every level, no, sa lahat ng levels, ang common denominator dyan kasi is kailangan natin ng pera. No, we need money to be able to build our solid financial house. So, if kulang yung money, we need to increase our cash flow. So, that means it's either we need to earn more or we need to spend less. Or better yet, we need to do both. Earn more and spend less. Okay? Para ma-increase natin ang cash flow natin. So, the higher we can increase our cash flow, the easier for us to build our solid financial foundation. Okay? So, that is also what IMG wants to give you. Okay? Kasi lahat ng tao gusto ni IMG magkaroon ng solid financial foundation. Pag sinabi nila na mahirap, then we need to increase the cash flow. And that is something IMG gives you. It's the business solution that IMG offers. So it's like once you're a member, you have access to all of this, okay? And then you can make a business out of it, okay? And um, hindi ko na discuss yung details nito, but if you're interested in that, reach out to the friend who invited you. So, um, congratulations on spending the time to learn and listen today. And I'm very happy that you really stayed on. I'm really sorry about the delay that we had earlier today. But please don't delay on your action. No? So, na-delay man yung webinar natin, ngayon na natutunan yun na, yung four basic concepts, no? four key concepts, um, kailangan i-apply na natin siya. So, it's time to act on it today. So, what's next? So, ask your friend, who invited you to give you a free financial checkup para makita natin kung saan yung gaps mo sa iyong solid financial foundation para makapag-start na tayo to build on the solutions. Now, another request also that I have is na please help us to reach our goal na 30 million financially educated families by 2030. So since naka-attend kayo sa webinar na ito and I really hope you're able to learn something I, I want you to be part of our campaign. So to be part of our campaign, I'd request that you give your email and contact number to the person who invited you para ma-sali ka sa counter namin. So each person kasi na nakarinig sa aming mga webinars, naka-attend ng aming mga seminars, no, be it online or offline or nakausap namin, nabigyan namin ng libro, they are already part of our financial literacy campaign and they get added to our counter. Okay, help us get closer to our goal of 30 million and get a chance to win an iPad. Okay, so kung binigay niyo yung email and contact number ninyo sa taong nag-invite sa inyo, masasama kayo sa raffle and you get a chance to win an iPad. Okay, so um, hope na um, gawin nyo yan para um, manalo din kayo. May chance kayong manalo. Okay. So, here's my last message. Reading books is a good thing. Attending seminars is a good thing. But in your financial education, you need financial education. So, this is uh, wise words from our one of our mentors in IMG, which is Brother Bo Sanchez. All right. So, yun po, financial independence is not a dream. It's a decision. So, decide na po tayo to act now. Okay, Join our community and get started on your financial plan. So, yun lang po. Have a great Saturday, everyone. And thank you so much for listening. Bye!